Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the day of Arafah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said these days are so blessed that we should increase our recitation of the Quran, the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praying optional salat because there is nothing but good in these days. At the same time, we should try to avoid as many sins as possible. We should avoid them all the time, but especially in these 10 days because of the sanctity of these 10 days. Whoever fasts in any one of these days, any of the first nine days of Zil Hijjah, it comes in the hadith Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if a person fasts one day of these first nine days of Zil Hijjah, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will reward him or her as if they fasted the entire year. Whoever worships in the night of these nine nights, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward them as if they have worshipped in the night of Laylatul Qadr, the night of Laylatul Power. And whoever fasts on the day of Arafah, the ninth day of Zil Hijjah, which falls next Friday, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever fasts on the day of Arafah, because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-Hajju Arafah. Hajj is Arafah. So whoever fasts on the day of Arafah, I have every hope in Allah's mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive the sins of this year that is going by, of the entire year that is going by. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive the sins that is the new year that is coming up. Two years of sins for one day of fasting.